for middle-aged women, lumps in the breast are common, but they can be very concerning. Questions arise from what is my risk for developing cancer to should or should I not proactively treat. The decision between watchful waiting or preemptive treatment is consequential because the treatment options significantly compromise the quality of life. Surgery is invasive. Chemotherapy and hormone therapy have substantial side effects. On the other hand, a patient opting for watchful waiting may feel that the sword of Damocles is constantly hanging over her head. For these women, an assessment of their cancer risk can hugely facilitate the decision-making process. Currently, this is done by the pathologists ascribing long Greco-Latin terms to the biopsies and classifying these lesions as low risk, such as atypia, intermediate risk, such as papilloma or radial scar, and high risk, specifically ductal carcinoma in situ. Also, checking for so-called clean margins of the lesions informs on the potential for cancer. Unfortunately, this requires the evaluation of multiple pathology slides and a suboptimal placement of the needle in the biopsy can cause bad areas to be missed. For the 1.6 million biopsies performed in the US every year, a marker molecule that indicates risk for developing breast cancer will be tremendously helpful. We have studied a protein with the scientific name HOPNC, which serves this purpose. The presence of HOPNC in a lump indicates an elevated risk for developing breast cancer down the road. And the more of it is detected, the more substantive that risk is. This marker can be used by pathologists to convey a risk score to the treating physician who will then communicate with the patient. We are diligently working to develop this prognostic for clinical use.